You've seen those viral AI avatars everywhere, but when you try to make your own, it looks nothing like you or you can't get past the render errors. Let me show you how to fix that. Here's how to create your at-home filming setup. So step one, our backdrop. We're gonna need a blank wall behind us, so no paintings, no lighting fixtures, no decorative ornaments, just a solid block color. Now, if there's any moving objects like fans, pets, or people in the frame while you're recording, you're gonna get a render error. Step two, audio. Shut all the doors and the windows around you. You're gonna to try to film in a room that's got lots of soft furnishings like carpets, rugs, sofas, curtains, etc. It's important to reduce the background noise as much as possible. Now, I use my DJI mic with the lavalier attachment to get the crispest audio. Now, however, if you don't have a mic, don't panic, just use the inbuilt one that's already on your laptop. Step three, lighting. Now, I like to use my LED panels when I film and I place them in three places. So one to the left, one to the right, and one behind me, just to remove all the shadows that are on me or on the wall. Or you could also use a large diffuser light that will work well too, providing consistent and neutral lighting across your entire face. Now, don't worry if you don't own any of these lights, you can simply film yourself during the day, position yourself just in front of a window here for natural light. Now, do watch out for window casting shadows on your face. We do not want any shadows. We want to be able to see you crisp and clear without interference. This is going to help us properly map your face and it's going to result in a better looking video overall. Step four, what to wear. Okay, so I need you to avoid wearing any crazy patterns. Just choose clothes that are one solid block color and be sure to remove your glasses as the light has a tendency to reflect off of them. Now, if you do keep them on, we can't guarantee to get a good shot of your eyes to create a lifelike avatar of you. Same goes for hats. We do not want you to wear a hat because it will cause a shadow across your face. Step five, filming your avatar. Okay, so now we have our setup. Let's hop on over to Veed to create our avatar. And here we've got two options. So option one, you can film on your camera or your phone, but make sure you use a tripod. Now for this, you can click upload HD video and then download the script. Then you can put it into a teleprompter app and make sure you're only filming from here upwards. Now, if you do choose this option, be sure to clean your camera lens first, then record in 4K 30 frames per second to get the highest quality output. Also, we can only accept videos that are shot in landscape, so no vertical videos, please. Or you can choose option two and record with your webcam. Click the button, then select your webcam and your mic option. Now remember to clean the camera lens of all fingerprints and smudges. Hit I'm ready, let's record, and then you can click the red record button. You're gonna have a three second timer here before the teleprompter begins to move up the screen. You're gonna wait until the text gets up to that red line marker. This is just to ensure that your eyes are as close to the camera as possible. Basically, we want your avatar to look like they're making eye contact and not looking halfway down the screen. Now, things to remember for both options. Okay, so we do require a consent script to be recorded by every single user looking to create their own avatar. This is just to ensure that the person filming is knowingly and voluntarily taking part in the custom avatar creation process. You're gonna record a two minute script and it's just to help us get every possible sound phonetically in the English language. So if you make a mistake, do not panic, just keep going. We're gonna pick up any missing words somewhere else in the script. You're gonna speak calmly, speak clearly, try not to talk with your hands because we can't clone them yet. And lastly, remember that the mood you're in when you film is the permanent mood of your avatar. So keep it bright, keep it friendly. Do not obstruct or cover the camera, even for a second. It's gonna cause issues when it comes time to create your avatar. Now, once you're finished recording, you're gonna be asked to tick off all the boxes here just to ensure that the video is usable. Then you can click, everything's good, create my custom avatar. Step six, you've got your avatar. You're gonna wait till up about six hours, and then once that's done, you'll get an email letting you know it's ready. And that's it. You've now got everything you need to create an AI avatar that actually looks like you. Go ahead, try it out, and don't forget to share your results.